Huh? Doing an interview. Okay. Okay. So, this is a uh, boyfriend application I have come up with for Bethany. And uh, and so I'm going to talk about some things here. So, <laughs> the first thing that we uh, need to understand is, is that uh, Bethany don't want no scrubs. Scrub is a guy that can't get, you know, all that deal. So, any uh, boys with... You know, with children and, and you know, like have baby mamas and, and they're already a father, need not apply. We don't want the baby mama drama. We don't need no kids to take care of. And Bethany ain't changing no damn diapers on no kids that ain't hers. So, uh, except if it's Callista or Alice. Well, yeah, it's, that's, but that's family. So, so, uh, you must not be over 20 years old. That's just wrong. I mean, you know, if you're 21 years old, you're at the drinking age and you'll corrupt my daughter not cool <laughs> so you know what just move along maybe when she's 19 but so uh the other prerequisites are you must have a job and money and rich families do not count as uh, a job although it is a plus if you come from a rich background you know it's it, it is a plus that means you don't you're not living in the white trash world you know uh but you must have a job that, that shows responsibility uh, you must have a current valid Texas driver's license, and I say Texas because I don't want no out-of-state people doing that whole thing. It's not, it's not going to work. Do you want that, Bethany? Do you want out-of-state? No, I've done that before. It doesn't work out, does it? <laughs> I, me and Gloria are the exception, not the rule. You must have reliable transportation, and you know what? I say Ford drivers need not apply. I mean, if it's a temporary situation where you have to drive a Ford or somebody's handed you one down, okay, we'll look into that. But uh, it must be reliable. And, um, you know, uh, you must be in school or, or graduated seeking higher education, which means, you know, going to a trade school or, or, or going to college or something. Unless you have a really, really good job. Well, but see, even then, later on in life, that's what I did, and it, it didn't work out for me. So I'm just okay. telling you. You must be seeking higher education, and and uh, you must be a law-abiding Christian, not in trouble with the law. You don't. I mean, if if you owe fines and you get in trouble and thrown in jail all the time for drinking and drama and whatever, yeah, just move along, move along. Bethany's not for you because she don't put up with that crap, and I don't either. So, uh, must be respectful to his own parents. And to Bethany's parents, which would be me, and to Bethany, and to her sisters, and the rest of her family. Must be respectful. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. That sort of thing. Uh, must be comfortable around firearms and understand what I use them for. I use firearms to protect my family. Do we understand the protect my family? Somebody might be subject to get shot if they break my daughter's heart. I'm just saying. Uh, must be able to operate basic lawn mowing equipment and, uh, and a weed eater. Because if you come around here, I'm going to make your ass work. That's just saying. Uh, that's a prerequisite. Don't want no lazy people laying up around here. So uh, you, you must be able to operate basic tree tr trimming equipment and a shovel in case I have you dig your own grave. <laughs> Well, uh, let's see here. Must be able to use and know basic hand tools and pick up at least 50 pounds. Now, when I say that, I mean, Bethany's dated some real gems and, and had to get rid of them because they didn't even know what a screwdriver was. And I mean, if you're going to be a man, you need to know manly things like how to fix things around the house and stuff. You know, don't want to, you know, have to hire it all done. And then fence repair skills are a plus around here. Uh, and you must be able to tell time. So what that means is, is if I say have her home at 10 o'clock, you ask better know when 10 o'clock is. Not 10.10, 10, not 10.05, 10 o'clock. Uh, and I'm going to amend that too. You must be able to put gas in your automobile because running out of gas is not an excuse uh, for the time telling things. So those that think they might meet these prerequisites here and, and think they might... Uh, you know, want to date Bethany, uh, you can, uh, you know, slide in her DMs or, you know, uh, just come talk to me. And then I'll, 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 I'll let her interview you. So anyway, there's a fly in here. It's probably just from the last boyfriend you drove into. Hey! Yeah. 
anyway, so yeah, and and just so you know, uh, Bethany has a stepmother that's like you know, uh, she she can sniff out any dirt on anybody, anybody. <laughs> just ask her last boyfriend, and we should have went with our gut instinct on that because he lied about it all, and it was all true. So uh, that will be all. Uh, Bethany, you have anything to add? <laughs> Here. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, you, I know you're not in your, your greatest makeup shake today. But. Yeah, I don't look good, y'all. Just be good. Mm -hmm. I don't want no buttholes coming around here and being a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so, that's, that is all. <laughs>